hello everyone welcome to gmail tutorials in this video we are going to see that how can you use your phone or any device on which your gmail account is already signed in to sign in to any new gmail account the process is pretty simple uh, if you are using gmail into multiple devices then one device on which it is already signed in can be used as a verification tool for you a physical verification device uh, so whenever you want to sign in to any new account, any new device from uh, to that same account, then what happens is you will be sent a notification on that already signed in device and from there you can just approve or deny. So let's see how can we add this pretty interesting feature into our Google account. Uh, make sure you are in your Google account, click on this profile icon, go to manage your Google account. Uh, in this Google account, you can just go to the security option from the left menu, scroll down to sign in into Google. The second option says use your phone to sign in. Let's just click on this arrow. So how it works, it actually gives us a description and it is showing us an animation as well. Instead of typing your password when you sign in, just tap a prompt from Google on your phone. All you need to do is a phone protected with a screen lock. You'll still be able to use your password when your phone isn't available. So this would be an additional security step. Like if you don't want to enter the password, you can just set up your phone um, with a screen lock. And that is a prerequisite. If the screen lock is not there, you won't be able to use your phone. So make sure the screen lock is there then you would be able to just tap on your phone and instead of entering the password you can just simply log in from there so let's just click on next and see how it works first of all it asks you to sign in to your google account so let's just enter the password click on next okay so um you need to just select the device which you want to set up so it's my android phone it will give you um, the list of the instructions to follow like you need to go to the Google account add Google account sign into that particular account and then click here to continue so I'm already signed in just click here to continue it's going to take some time okay so when it has uh, once it's been loaded you will get to see your device the screen lock status if it is okay then you will see a check mark and if you want to enter a recovery phone number that also you can add so it's actually a mandatory step so let's just add a dummy number okay it's just fine click on next you need to verify it by adding your code so basically just add a recovery phone number and then you would be good to go if you want this uh, sign in step so that's it for this video thanks for watching